Will you be rich or poor? Personality test. They say money can't buy you happiness, but most of us still wouldn't mind having a little more of those unhappy bills. So let's find out if you're gonna have more than enough or barely enough to get by. You've got 10 questions to answer. Don't overthink it, just go with the first option you like. And before you take this test to find out if you'll be rich or poor, make sure you subscribe to our channel. There are plenty of money-saving tricks and advice on the bright side of life. You know, just in case. 1. You're offered a deal. You either get $10,000 right now or have to wait a year but get $100,000. What would you choose? A. I'd say no to both. There must be some sort of a catch here. B. Grab the money right now, of course. C. I'll wait a year and get more cash. If you chose option A, you get 20 points. B is worth 10 points and C is a 30. 2. You're shopping for a new pair of shoes. The shop assistant tells you they have an unbeatable deal going on at the moment. Buy two pairs, get one free. Will you go for the second pair you didn't really plan on buying just to get the third one for free? A. Of course, it's a great deal. B. I'll look around and see if there's something good. No promises, though. C. I came to get one pair, and that's what I'm sticking to. Did you pick option A? Then you just got 10 points. B gives you 20 points and C is worth 30. 3. Speaking of shopping, do you make shopping lists and keep a budget? A. Absolutely. B. Nope. Who's got time for that anyway? C. Sometimes, just when I'm running low on money. Add 30 points to your score if you went for an A, 10 points for B, and 20 for C. 4. A new smartphone is coming out and everyone's talking about it. Your phone is still functioning alright. Will you still get the latest greatest model everybody's buzzing about? A. Nah, I'm good. B. Yeah, but only if I can afford it. C. I need it in my life right now! I'd even borrow money to get it! 5. Option A is worth 30 points. B will add 20 points to your final score. And C is a 10-point option. 5. What's the perfect birthday gift for you? A. Money, money, money. B. Online courses or a music library subscription. C. Something fun I'd never buy for myself. A is worth 10 points. B gives you 30 points. And go ahead and add 20 points to your tally if you chose option C. 6. Your friend calls you up and tells you he's got two free tickets to a concert of your favorite band. The concert is in two days, and it's a thousand miles away. That means you'd need to pay for travel and accommodation. What do you say? A. No, because it wasn't in my monthly budget. B. Yes, of course. C. Uh, let me first see how much the plane tickets and hotel will cost me. Option A will give you 30 more points, B is 10 more, and C gives you 20. 7. Which of the following sounds most like your eating habits? A. Junk food for life. B. I keep it healthy and cook for myself. 
I take leftovers to work or school. C. I do enjoy eating out, but just at cute or atmospheric restaurants. Junk food junkies get 10 points for option A. B is worth 30 points, and C gives you 20. 8. Would you rather have a well-paid secure job that's boring or do something financially risky that you enjoy? A. Stability is everything. I'd take that mundane job. B. I'd try to make the most out of my hobby. C. I'd do what I love. Money isn't everything. If you like the security that option A will give you, then go ahead and add 20 points to your total. For B, you get 30 points, and risky C is worth 10 points. 9. Imagine you're offered a promotion, but they'd have to fire your best friend. What would you do? A. Of course, I'd turn it down. B. Talk to my friend, then make a decision. C. Take it. My friend will understand. 10. Option A is worth 10 points. B will add 20 points to your final score, and you get 30 points if you chose option C. Finally, an easy one to finish it off. Just kidding. It's actually the toughest question out there. 10. What's the meaning of life, in your opinion? A. To achieve all your goals, including financial ones. B. It's all about enjoying the journey, not getting to the destination. C. Changing the world for the better. Goal achievers get 30 points for option A. Those who went for B get 20, and C is worth 10 points. Time to sum it all up. If you got 100 to 160 points, you'll be living in saving mode. In other words, you probably won't be rich when it comes to money, but as far as having adventures, making memories, and being surrounded by friends, you'll actually be as wealthy as they come. Money isn't your number one priority, and you aren't too careful about it. You often spend more than you can afford without thinking of the consequences simply because it brings you joy. Well, YOLO! People still say that, right? In case your final score is between 170 and 230 points, you'll be quite comfortable. You'll always have just enough money to pay the bills, eat out every now and then, and buy good quality things. You know money comes to those who work hard, so you plan your spending and don't make irrational decisions. Sounds okay, right? If your total came to 230 to 300 points, congratulations! You're a future Rockefeller. You'll be diving into your very own pool of gold. Money means the world to you, and you're ready to give it all to have it all. You count every cent to multiply what you already have. You're hardworking and determined, with that entrepreneurial spirit to make something out of nothing. What was your final score? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life!